Hi, we're here today at a Hyda Tool Company here in Berkeley, California. Okay, so the quick theory behind what's happening to the edge or the blade, any blade like kitchen knife, chisels, whatnot, um, we need to first understand what sharpness is pretty much. So there's two, basically there's two different aspects of sharpness. Number one is imagine if this was a kitchen knife, when you simply go up and down on let's say a carrot or whatever, how well it splits something, a splitting power. Now that is determined by how well this micro bevel is made, how pointy it is. This versus, let's say, we use that a lot and tip is rounded. Obviously, this will not split, in scissors case, will not bite into your dahlia at all. So it needs to be pointing here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing is we were sharpening here. Sorry for the bad picture. This is the micro bevel that we made while sharpening. Mm. Now, see this part that we don't need anymore? So that is what we are removing. And then that's what we are moving to the other side. So when this has nowhere else to go, it becomes the other side. Let's draw a bad picture. Sorry, there. Ooh, that makes there. sense. There. And maybe there. <clears throat> so imagine that this was rounded this way. We're going to sharpen. So the part, the rounded part that we don't need anymore starts to move to the other side. Yeah. And when it reaches the tip and has nowhere else to go, that one extra stroke moves it to the other side. So this is how the edge looks like right now. It's pointy, but has a burr on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now we need to understand the second aspect of sharpness is the slicing power. How it's, you, when you simply put the, your kitchen knife on top of a carrot, you move it back and forth. Will it slice or will it just slips on top? That is determined by the, what we call the micro serration. Um, so for, in this case, it's scissors. If we are looking at it from the side, the very tip under a microscope, it's not straight. It needs to be um, jagged. If you look at this under a microscope, it looks exactly like uh, your saw, your gardening saw, your crosscut saw, your woodworking saw, whatnot. It needs to be jagged. So how do we make this edge have a nice micro serration is this. So now back to this. So now we have a nice bevel, so it cuts or bites nicely. Here's the, uh, the burr. The moment we break the burr off, see how we remember how we clean the burr off? Mm -hmm. Just like when we tear a paper in half, it's going to be jagged. That's how the micro serration is created. So back to the sharpening again. Remember when we did the step one, when we use the coarse side of the file, and then when we sharpen, we made a big burr that we can feel. Mm -hmm. right we right. can see touch and feel and when we break that thick coarse burr off that at micro serration once again under a microscope is very coarse and jagged now back to the first side when we move the fine if we use the fine side and we're moving a lot less steel at a time the burr is so fine that some most of the time you can't even feel it or see it but it's there so when we break that fine burr off can you tell that the serration will be much finer? Mm -hmm. So that's why it cuts and slices smoothly. I see. So mm -hmm. when, you, when you take the burr off, it doesn't do it smoothly. It does it roughly. And that's yes. what gives it that serration. Yes. So a lot of people will think that sharpening removes too much steel off. Not really. Uh, if you do it with this. So um, you move just to, you know just enough so you get a burr and then the only time we're removing material is when we break that burr off mm 